I have a few of these moments in my life where this was definitely a low point, but Man Vs. Wild and a lot of these shows about doing the unimaginable to keep you alive. So if you're ever stranded on a raft, you've got fetid water, you need to hydrate, get the hose out. Hey guys, Bear Grylls here, and Esquire have asked me to explain a few things. They sent me some photos and videos. Let's do this. First image, Shaq and myself standing in the forest about to go on an adventure. Uh, first of all, one of the biggest men in the world. I mean, I think, I mean, how tall is Shaq? He's got to be seven foot something other. Although I don't think he's the tallest person I've ever taken on of Running World. I think the tallest person I've taken is actually Yao Ming. But Shaq is no doubt, he is a man mountain in every sense, in spirit and physicality. But the funny thing about this one is, you might not notice, but if you zoom in close and look at his gloves, he's actually wearing oven mitts. They were literally, the, we couldn't get gloves big enough for his hands. Bear Grylls suffers almost lethal allergic reaction from a bee sting while filming new series. In Mexico, everyone's always asked me about shark attacks and snake attacks, but actually I've learned in the wild, don't underestimate the little things, no other things are gonna often get you. I got stung, I had a pretty bad allergic reaction, my face kind of ballooned up, all my eyes couldn't see out of it, and the crew were going, I think we should stop, and I was like, no, because I couldn't see myself, it just felt like really tight and I couldn't see much, but I remember getting home and a few friends and my family going, it's actually an improvement. Oh yeah, I look worried here because moments earlier the photographer sent to join this venture almost stepped back off over a cliff. True, I mean we work in some hostile environments, jungles, deserts, mountains, all sorts. We are a tight-knit crew. I always say our camera crew, they're the unsung heroes on these adventures in it, and that is true. This was one occasion where we were sent a local photographer from, I think, Iceland. He almost fell off a cliff you know, stepping back to get a shaft and it was like, we just got him and a reminder, never get complacent, keep your team tight, take people who are trained into the wild with you. The best way we keep these stars safe is by having a small, highly trained, tight-knit crew, people that trust each other. And it's that trust between us that I value the most. Oh, uh, a shot of my back looking pretty beaten up. Life can be a battle. I did break my back whilst I was in the military many years ago. I broke T8, T10, T12 vertebrae in the middle of my back. Had a parachute malfunction, smashed into the desert in Southern Africa and spent many months in and out of military rehabilitation back in the UK. And then I left the military and started to try and rebuild my life. I suppose what I wanted to get strong enough and fit enough to be able to do was to climb again. Everest had been a huge dream of mine since I was a young boy. That became the focus of my recovery. But my back never lets me forget that I've been given a second chance. Life is a great gift. My responsibility is to go out and live it to the max and live it boldly and uh, always be grateful. The next one, picture of President Obama and myself in Alaska in the wild. It was a real privilege to take him on a running wild adventure. We had an amazing time, you know, obviously he was the only guest we've ever had that had a serious entourage in the sense he had a helicopters and a whole bunch of secret service and snipers and you name it. But it was an incredible journey to do and he was super humble and down to earth guy. The caption is from, at the end of it, one of our crew who was interviewing him said, did Bear ask you to drink your own pee? And I remember just that by stepping in and going, guys, we've got enough. President, thank you so much for your time. We're done. Legendary. There is a way of using it to gain life-giving fluids, but only as a last resort. I'm going to give myself an enema. I'm not expecting this to be particularly pleasant. Yeah, I, I sort of forget a lot of these things. You know, we do them. This was a survival technique to show that if you're out of fluids, and you're in a survival situation, you can actually hydrate yourself by giving yourself an enema uh, if you've got water that is rancid water. And it was one of those moments when I finished filming and pulled it out and like, okay, that's done, let's move on. You know, I looked at the crew and normally they're like, great job, okay, let's, let's keep going. They just looked at me like, Next shot is one of my best buddies and myself on the summit of Mount Everest on top of the world. What's it like on top of the world? Cold, about minus 45 degrees at the time. It had taken us some 55 days to climb on the mountain. A lot happened, four climbers lost their lives, two died of the cold, two fell. But two of us from our team did make it to the top. And a, a moment I'll never forget, you know, you see the curvature of the earth at the edges. 
and just very aware you're somewhere special. This is a pretty fun shot of having a, a big boa constrictor wrapped around my neck in this gorge in Africa where we were filming. It was a big old snake and it was definitely pulling me under, but it was fine, we planned it. You know, I knew this was happening. We had a backup plan. We had animal wrangler nearby if I needed it. But this has been a really fun series to do. It's called You Vs Wild. We launched it last year. It's on Netflix, it's interactive. You decide what I do, you know, do I? try and swim across this river with the crocodiles, or shall I make a raft, or do we climb up this or jump off this? The next one comes out later this year, but it's been a big part of our filming life over the last year. Next one, Bear Grylls, my advice on getting through the pandemic. I've been asked, I suppose, a bit about this this year from various people. All of us have to face difficult things, and I think as the world opens up, for people it's scary going back into kind of life. A lot of the qualities that help people in the wild are similar qualities that can help people through this tough time and this global pandemic. And it's three words. Number one, courage. Courage is quietly moving towards the things that scare you. Kindness on big expeditions. You know, if you're stuck in a tent with someone for six weeks, a person who's kind, you value so much. And then the final one, never give up, resilient spirit. It's number one in the wild, really, that fire inside, that dogged determination to keep going, even when it's hard and difficult. I remember it as MGU, never give up, you know. So there we go. Thank you for watching and um, get out there, live your adventures, never give up.